Hi, welcome to section 3, IDE Integration and Test Driven Development. In this section, we are going to leverage the power of the Eclipse Orion Web IDE and the discipline of test driven development. Here is what we're going to cover. First, we are going to discuss our application architecture. Then, we are going to review the source code using the Eclipse Orion Web IDE. And finally, we will make some source code updates using test driven development. This is the application architecture and Eclipse Orion Web IDE video. We cloned the baseline code from our Git repository on section 1 while creating our toolchain. And now, we will review and update it using the Web IDE. Here are the contents of this video. We will start reviewing our minimal viable product, then break the application architecture down, and finally review the source code using the Eclipse Orion Web IDE. So, with the agree on building a easy to use Java EE web application which allows video uploading, streaming and categorization. Let's break down the application architecture to deliver that MVP. The application will have a web user interface based on HTML, CSS and JavaScript. This will allow the app to be easily accessed via web browser using a computer, tablet or smartphone. This UI will talk to a back-end interface for crude operations or in other words, create, read, update, and delete operations. This will be done using the Java API for RESTful web services. By using REST, which is based on the HTTP protocol, we keep the front-end and back-end loosely coupled and language-free. And finally, the back-end will persist the data into our Cloud and NoSQL database. Let's return to the cloud in a moment to use the Eclipse Orion Web IDE. But first, here are some of its advantages. It is browser-based, so you can access it from your computer browser, tablet or smartphone as well. No installations are required, and it integrates with Git and other source code repositories, so we can push code to the integrated delivery pipeline for buildings, tests and deployments with the click of a button. Let's return to the cloud. From our integrated toolchain page, click on the Eclipse Orion Web IDE. The code we will review now is based on an open source sample project from the IBM Cloud GitHub profile, and I've adapted it to our needs. Let's start with the user interface. Navigate to Source Main Web App and click on the index.html page. So, this is our application's one and only page. This is a very simple HTML file with its user interface elements such as sections, tables and buttons. I could preview this page for you now by clicking on View, Open with, Web Browser. But let's focus on the code for now. Note that once you click on a file, the IDE opens that file on the right panel for editing. And of course, you can adjust the panel size, either by hiding the left panel or dragging Another important thing is that as soon as you edit a file, it saves automatically. Ok, so this page is enhanced by its JavaScript and style companions. The first, let's click on it, is responsible to call the REST API. See here the API slash videos link and you can see that the function load items is calling it. There is also another call to attach the video files. Let's find it. Here it is, and if we scroll up just a little bit, we can see the function upload file is using it. Now, for the CSS file, it is addressing the styles. Note that, for example, if I put my mouse over one of the colors, such as the background or the font color here, the Web IDE shows a preview for that color. Very nice. Now, let's review the backend code. Expand source main java and starting with the resource servlet class we can see here the add path slash videos annotation and that is the api being called by the user interface it has the create read update and delete services using the rest architecture style so note that the html methods such as post get delete and put maps with the create get delete and update java methods now, the attached servlet helps with the uploading of the video files. For example, the request.getPartFile method handles the binary video files upload. 
Finally, the Cloudant Client Manager class interfaces with our Cloudant NoSQL database. It needs the database credentials in order to access it. And that is exactly what we're going to handle in the next video using test-driven development. Congratulations on successfully completing the application architecture and Eclipse Orion Web IDE video. We reviewed the architecture and baseline code that will implement our minimum viable product. And all of that with the help of the Eclipse Orion Web IDE.